So we heard the bombshell from PUBG Mobile with the official patch notes that they just released. We're talking about all the weapon changes. I'm gonna be showing you guys the before and after of everything. The SKS, the Mini, the AUG A3, as well as the MK14. You guys are going to be shocked. You're gonna be shocked. It's what it's it's almost what I expected. Just from reading the patch notes, you will see a clear difference between all of these weapons. The SK, okay, I'm not gonna say anything. All right, and as we look at the weapons, you'll notice there's no attachments other than the scopes, okay? I put a 4X on each one of these, and uh, you're gonna see a side-by-side -side comparison. So, this is, of course, global. You can see my skins. So this is the old, okay? We're gonna start with the old SKS, and I want you to pay close attention to the recoil, okay? And then I'll show you guys the difference. So this is the this is the this is the SKS that we that we know, right? Here it is. Okay, a lot of bounce. You can see, yeah, it's popping way up there. And just to keep in the center, you really gotta focus. And again, I am using gyro, um, you know, which in a sense is you know the recoil is a little bit easier to control. You'll notice, you know, and again with no attachments, there's a huge bounce to this weapon. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to notice it's, it's the same. No attachments other than the 4X, okay? So let's, we're going to take a quick look at the new. This is the new SKS. Look at this. Were we right or were we right? Look at this. I don't know why. There's only six shots uh, that I had right there. Let's show you guys another clip. And then we'll do a side-by-side. -side. Look at this. Okay, real quick, I'm going to pause. I don't want to pause it too much. But imagine with attachments. Like, are you kidding me? Imagine, what is it, the one that goes with the SKS uh, that was like built for it? Was it the light grip, I believe? Which fits perfect with the SKS. Uh, I mean, imagine a comp on this thing. It's it's pretty it's pretty crazy. This is, this is a naked SKS, look at that. And, okay, is this when we do, I believe, this is a side-by-side -side comparison. You'll notice a big difference, watch. So notice, I, so I just, want, I just want to make sure, let me go ahead and pull this up, let me go back, let me go back 10 seconds, I want to make sure that we have the exact same amount of rounds, because you'll notice that the new one, yeah look, yeah, we had 10 and 10, you'll notice on the right, I finished shooting way faster, because it just makes me, because there's not as much bounce, you'll find yourself just rapid firing it, almost like mini style, and here's the old SKS night and day when you're talking about the accuracy and so the sks for sure i don't know if it's s tier but there was a huge difference and i'm curious to see and they also up the damage on the sks as well now let's hop in let's go ahead and check out the mini again this is the old mini um and you'll see the thing is the mini's always it's always been kind of it's always been kind of broken so the fact they're gonna up the damage and you will notice not a huge difference, but you will notice a difference when you're talking about um, the recoil with the mini. So just go ahead and just wait and see. Watch. All right. So here's the new mini. It's it's it, and it wants to come right back. So from where you're starting, where you first shoot, the reticle just wants to go up and then bounce right back down to where you were. So again, here's old versus new. And you can see a clear difference. For wine, you know, you can pause it at, you know, as you wish. Here's the new mini. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. no attachments other than other than the 4X on this one. Okay, now this was the big one I saw in the comment section that you guys are curious about. This and the AUG, which we'll get to in a second. So <sighs> some people are going to be upset. Some people are going to be really, really upset. So we're going to do headshots first, right? You will notice a huge difference. All right. Okay, so this is this is the old uh, this is the old MK14. Did I say AUG? I don't know if I did. Here's the old MK14. So we started with the headshots. Now I went to the body. You will notice a big upgrade when it comes to the training grounds. Um, and notice that was a 6x not dialed down. Okay, this is the new MK14. Okay, go ahead and take a look. It almost looks like. And again, I'm using gyro, so it is kind of difficult to tell. It almost says, so when we look at this real quick, it says slightly reduce the firing rate, increase the bullet travel speed, 
reduce the weapon damage drop off, which we can't really test at the range. Slightly reduce the recoil. This is the weird one. But then again, it could just be my settings because it's beta. But I feel like the new... I feel like this MK14 has a bigger bounce than the new one. Even though it says they reduced recoil. I don't know if it's rate of fire. I don't, I don't know what it is. But notice the bounce. That is a huge bounce. All right, now let's look at the side-by-side -side comparison. The new one, I'm actually shooting a lot slower. The old MK14, I'm shooting faster. So again, is this my sensitivities? I don't know, but it doesn't feel... The MK14 feels off, at least in beta. That's all, that's all I can say. So you notice there's a big difference there. All right, now we're going to hop into the AUG A3. I'm so glad they're making... The one and only 5.56 five, uh, AR that are found in the airdrops and the flare drops that it's getting a buff. So in case you guys missed it, so here it is. Increased base damage, can't really test that. Um, but yeah, increased base damage. The uh, firing rate is faster, which you'll notice. And the reload speed is also faster. And they reduce the hip fire spread. So this is the old AUG. Let's watch the hip fire spread. Okay, and you'll notice right here, I mean, pretty pretty spread out. I mean, even from this range, I mean, depending on the situation, I'd probably ADS, but this is hip fire. So we want we wanted to do the test and we want to do it properly, but it's a pretty big spread, bullets all over the place. All right, now this is this is me just lying, the, the, lying my phone on the desk where I'm gonna do this test where we're just gonna kind of just do a vertical test here. You can see the spread. That was with me not controlling the recoil. Now, let's check out the new AUG, okay? Here's the new one. Notice there's a target here now, which is pretty cool. Same thing, putting the phone on the desk. And look at the spread. So even not controlling the recoil, look at the shots, man. All body going up. And then look, one, two, three, four, five. I guess I can say her neck, a headshot. But look, notice these are red. These five shots right here. The other one, I mean, they were landing here and here and here. But again, we can't test it on the same target because this, that's a new addition to beta. Uh, or that will be coming, you know, with, with the new update. Now we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the reload speed, okay? Okay, that's the new. Look at this. Now we're going to slow it way down. Watch. Look at this, okay? Look at that. So this was already done. He already racked around and, was, and the reload was complete. Whereas the old AUG, look, barely about to stop, uh, uh, start racking the round into the chamber. Let me see. Let me, let me go back 10. Let's go back 10. Did I just, what did I do? I just went back on the whole video. Okay. I just want to check the, the reload. I just want to check the reload one more time. Okay. Went through that. Just so you guys can see it. There's the reload. This is the new AUG. Okay. This is the new AUG. Reload. Here's the old AUG on the right. And now we're going to slow it down. Watch. I mean, I mean, we're talking a good quarter quarter of a second. I mean, maybe not a quarter of a second. Yeah, it could be maybe a sixth of a second. Faster, but I'm telling you. Like, look, his hand's already about to rack. Boom. Finished. Ready to go. Okay? Right here, hand's barely about to rack the round. Boom. So big difference when it comes to the reload uh the reload animation the reload speed is much better with the aug again when we're talking about uh, base damage couldn't really test that in beta firing rate couldn't really test it or not that well but it does seem to be faster the reload speed definitely faster and we saw a huge difference in the um redu the reduction of hip fire spread when you're shooting from the hip with the aug a3 now and after you know post update 2.2 the bullets will be much tighter hopefully you guys enjoyed this video took a while it actually takes longer than you think uh, you know to edit these videos um so and if you're watching this as i just uploaded it this isn't like the normal upload time it is a bit later in the day but i really would appreciate it if you guys dropped a like if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like this of course subscribe if you haven't share the video would be awesome check the links in the description Check out the brand new glitch 
You already know we got the dragon sweat. Um, this is um, dragon fruit flavor. Cannot wait to crack that baby open. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. But until the next one, it's been Reeks.